the more you take out of nature the more closer you are to nature now but um, um uh, doctor yes with the modern life that we live many people in urban areas in city centers you know in metropolitan areas where nature is virtually denied by uh, bricks and mortars and 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 uh, everything that is unnatural how would people be able to now begin to to take more of nature i'm sure that's why we have recourse to all these uh, packaged food and packaged drugs and packaged drinks D don't you think that is just what life is all about thank you very much you see for people to return to nature you see i have i have a personally i have a plan and uh, i'm happy this kind of program came up my plan was how to reach government and mm -hmm. to let the government know that the revolution of a return to nature has to take off in the Ni in Nigeria. When can that you, revolution can you, can you say that again? The revolution of return to nature. We, we, we have we have denied we have jettisoned nature and is causing us great a grave problem on our on our health therefore we need if we, we need to come back go come back to where god originally designed what god originally designed for us for us to start again so that we now see that by starting we now see that we are now on the path of radiant sound and robust health again because we will be the, the, that, as I told you earlier, that that telepathic attachment yes. between mankind uh. and nature, when God created both, He has attached them together. Hmm. This is what you will eat for you to grow and remain healthy and multiply and multiply. Most of us now, throughout of modernization, as you have said, have deviated. We have jettisoned most of those things. Most of the, 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 the things our forefathers used, in, even in raising us up, there is if the orthodox doctor today, no doctor can raise up his hand and swear that his mother did not use a agbo, what we call agbo, for him when he was in the, in the, in the infancy. No, 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 no. But uh, uh, let, let's 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 quickly address that. Yes. Um, that is where actually the constant questions yes. have always, you know, risen up. The question of number one, the efficacy of these concussions. That's number one. Number two, the dosage that we we'll now find to be e efficacious yes. in every instance. That these are not scientifically proven. No, they have not been scientifically tested. Therefore, it is all about speculation and maybe the magical, you know, uh, powers of the man who is now administering those things. I think that's where. Don't you think that's where the problem is? Things have changed. Before you can register any herb with NAVDAC, any, any drug, herbal drug with NAVDAC, you will go through certain processes there, of which your samples of your drug will be taken, analysis will be done on them, and the, the, when they are satisfied that this thing is consumable, and we enhance health for the generality of the of the of the, of the, of the public. The public says. Then they will register it and, and, they, and give you the permission to go and market it. To go and market it. And they even go as far as to making you uh, 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 erect a factory, which they will, they uh, they will inspect, and in fact you will produce sample of that medication in the factory, in their presence. Therefore, the issue of, uh, of uh, dosage, the issue of potency, and so on. You see, I can talk of that dosage. Dosage has been now been corrected, and there, there's no herbal drug you will find out where, where you will not find the normal dosage. But the issue of potency, in the, it, 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 one, it depends on God Almighty, who gave those herbs who infuse those potency in it. Then two, it now depends on the on the manufacturer. Or rather, let me say the the 
the, the marketer the, 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 the or the administrator uh, or the physician and uh, the physician who now who now combine those hubs you know well, most of the time it might not be only a single hub mm. you may combine mm. several other hubs together mm. Mm. and when you combine those hubs together you you check the potency through your own patients most of us we doctors we are allowed to to treat patients but we are not allowed to market those drugs until it has been registered with NAVDAC. Therefore, the, the idea of potency in the drug, it, I can say it, it will be only be determined by the public itself. You see, if, you, if, you, if, you, if after determination from NAVDAC, and NAVDAC gave you the go ahead to go and market it. Now, when you have marketed it, and people start buying it and consuming. There are some people who continue to buy. Some people will not even, in the moment some people, he takes it and he shows that yes, this he's thing feeling is, better. Is, 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 is far better. When his neighbor complains, he will say, oh, I've had the same complaints. Go and take the, go and buy so, so, so drug. <laughs> so you will, you will uh, no longer need to, to go more, too much, so much on advertisement. Therefore, the issue of potency now, right, one, one with God, Two with the manufacturer and three with the generality of the public. Now, um, let, let's come to where you you were approaching before I said we should first clarify all this areas. Yes. The issues of how government can make natural medicine or traditional medicine or alternative medicine to be a core revolutionary function to change the health practice in the country. I know the, recently the minister actually called for uh, some kind of integration between orthodox medicine and traditional medicine, actually to the point of asking universities to begin to provide some learning environment for those who like to uh, qualify with traditional medical uh, 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 traditional medical practice. But the, 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 the back end of that, if I may say that, yes. is that we don't have sufficient knowledge on what traditional medicine practices are. Um, many of the things that you do, many of the uh, uh, the uh, history, medical history of patients, are not collated, are not gathered, are not you know put in a in, in a learning uh, uh, environment. So how can you therefore now help create this integration that we are talking about? You see, the the in the past, all everything you have just said will have materialized. But presently, it is not possible for you to put a, you see, you have to, you have to, you have to manufacture a drug and market it. And before you do that, there's an agency established by government that must look critically into it to ensure that what you have, what you what want you to sell packaged, to the public, yes. It's exactly, I mean, they have gone through the analysis and they are sure that it is not dangerous or injurious to the consumers. So there should have been a research? The research is already body. there. Then too, there's another body at Ikeja. If, if, you want to, if you want to be sure of your drug, they have, they have analysis points where you take it though, they will analyze everything, your combination and everything. They will be without you knowing. After the analysis, they will tell you all the herbs that is contained in it. Probably through his normal name or through his botanical name. Mm, mm. They will tell you everything. Therefore, I, what we have just said is in the past. And moreover, whether the, the you know, the problem that, uh, that bedeviled the practice of traditional medicine in Nigeria, one, borders on education. Or lack of it, or lack of education. As I'm facing you now, I'm speaking with you. If I cannot face you, if I cannot, if if, if, if I can, I'm if inferior cannot communicate, to you, I cannot, yes. I will not be able to communicate with you. The problem with that is that most of them got their, 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 their I mean, their knowledge, their knowledge from their parents, 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 and so on, from their forefathers. And they combine this knowledge, probably take it to NAVDAC, and NAVDAC will look critically into it before and he allows them to market it. But 
now, but if you call the marketer to come here, to come and defend it, mm, mm, you will not, not be, be able, able to, to communicate that. much with you. So the, the number of those of us who are educated and who has actually uh, gone through this practice, uh, through uh, mod I mean, uh, modern, modern, learning, uh, modern environment. learning environment, we are very few. And uh, the problem we now have is that uh, it now borders on government, as we have rightly said, that the government, uh, even the minister have now, I mean, uh, is now they are pro proposing, the consent, yes. uh, I can say they are a proposal. Yes. They are making a proposal now that uh, the, the issue of uh, of a uh, of a uh, uh, trying to make every practitioner study in the university so that at that level there will be a confidence i mean in, 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 one, in the practitioners themselves in the practitioners and in the government and in the public then too the 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 public will be able to i mean the the, tradi the practitioner we now be able to go headlong to in his own research. I think I think yes, you get me. Yes. Because before you put out a drug and even send it to Navdak, you might have gone gone through some degree of research. For instance, as I'm speaking now, I I I, I have so many so many drugs, which I'm already. Working to, on yes. working on and sending to NAFDA, which have even completed research. And these are borders on major organs in the system, like the kidney, the liver, the and those pancreas. Are the, those are some of the issues that we are having right now in yes, across those, the country. And those, and, and those are the major organs. Those major organs in the body are the ones that, when they are okay and not disordered, and they work in unison, the entire human physique, I mean, physique and mechanism the body mechanism will be complete and uh, you have a real man standing, not a, not a half not a man. An unhealthy, not a not half an, a man. Uh, not an unhealthy robust <laughs> standing before you. <laughs> now, now th th that's, that brings again to the table um, the question of uh, you know, universal you know, health you know, for Nigerians, you know, where the government actually has set some milestones that all Nigerians must be healthy at some point across the country. Yes. But now, Many Nigerians still would rather uh, 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 go to orthodox medical practitioners yes. rather than come to traditional medical practitioners because of this same question of image. So what would you be doing or what would you be saying about that? Yes, I fortunately I'm here with my profile. But there's one thing I want you to know is that uh, any with modern uh, orthodox herbal practice, yes natural practice you you cannot do anything you cannot treat a patient unless you know exactly what is wrong with that patient. what is wrong with that patient otherwise you'll be treating in morbidity hmm. and when you engage in morbid treatment you will either be killing that patient the more therefore if you know you see drugs or be losing confidence in yourself or be losing confidence in yourself the drugs are manufactured based on the fact that they are targeted at something to a particular ailment. Mm. Like I have now, I have drug targeted at kidney. I have drug targeted at mm. prostate. I've even moved them now to NAMDAC. Some of them are waiting. Approval. Approval. I've targeted the, the, the liver, the kidney, the pancreas, which is the cause of diabetes? You know, diabetes is always a all over your place now. Uh -huh, that is known as hyperglycemia. With the cause of it, and when you have hyperglycemia, you have you are definitely prone to high blood pressure. But how did you do all this uh, 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 analysis? How did you? Do, do, okay, you, you were able to use modern medical practice yes. to analyze what is wrong uh, with all did, these organs in the body. Uh, fortunately, when I traveled to London, I have a friend who stays in Germany. So he shuttled between Germany and London. He happens to be a traditional uh, uh, medicine practitioner. In which field? 
in the Harbour Mason. And his residence in Germany. He's resident in Germany. And he's practicing there. He's a, he's a German. I met him in London. True oh. discussion. Are you saying that you have actually foreigners who are also into traditional native medicine? Of course, I I I, I learned there. Although I, I I have not been able to penetrate into the much into the institution, but through him I was able to learn. Then through here, you see, I started this medicine practitioner right from my dad. My dad has a wide range of knowledge of it. And in fact, and, in our, pass it on to and in our church, before you call anybody, if there's any problem, he's the first person they will call. So after on, I started getting interest in that thing because I saw people moving around to him, him. Uh -huh, asking when this one has any problem. The first thing is we will come to that day your daily. So I now I took interest, and from the interest now. When I got to the, uh, overseas, I bought some books through the, this my friend. I bought a few books on it and started well with the knowledge from my father and all the rest and so on. So bro, from that then, when I came back here, I met another friend too, who, who, uh, who, who, who is a practitioner, but well educated. So we moved together and started using. So I, through him, I was able to, penetrate to major organs of man. This major, the major organs I've mentioned earlier, the heart, kidney, liver, and all the rest. I was able to penetrate and know the knowledge of ailments on, that can happen on each of those organs. organs. For instance, the, 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 an ailment that can happen on heart, I know it. On kidney, I know it. On liver, I know it. Now, but when you say you know the ailments, yes. would you also have been able to analyze the causes? Yes. Or we the, know, we the know prognosis the, of the possible yes, causes of those, of those ailments? Thank you. We know the causes. For instance, so, let's, let's say somebody who has a, a serious a liver problem, either enlargement or, or inflammation, or the liver is inflamed or the liver is enlarged, or the liver can even go on to degenerate to the level of being hardening. When, when, when you uh, touch, touch it. it here, you will see it very hard. That person is going already. Unless we quickly remedy it with some of the herbs and bring it back to its normal uh, uh, order. Now, those ailments, when you, when you understand that, on, yes. When you understand, analyze and understand that, yes. Yes, when you are on, analyze and understand, you know exactly how to Treat. treat them like hepatitis now you know hepatitis is a liver disease. Yes. jaundice is a liver disease so i've mentioned about five or so now on, 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 liver. on liver alone now that hepatitis most uh, practitioners fail to even in the way in hospitals they fail to treat it because you can only treat hepatitis in two ways orally or and from the anus Orally or through the through anal? Through the anal. And both. Um, oh, both. Not alternatively. Not alternatively. You see, when you, when she takes the medication orally and you inject that heart into the anus, anal cavity, yes. the anal cavity, it goes into the to the, uh, the, the the veins, the the veins of, of a of uh, the colon and from that it penetrates into the hepatic vein that hepatic it, it will transport it to the hepatic vein that hepatic vein is the liver it is the connected, to the, connected liver. to the liver so the li now uh, this is amazing because you see we you have used orthodox medical terms yes to describe what is going on here in the yes. human body yes now the um the fears of many viewers or many uh, uh, potential patients yes. of traditional medicine yes. would be that not all your members can do this. No. So the question yet yeah, now. So the question therefore is why are you therefore not taking it to the streets? Why are you not having your members acquire this level of knowledge or expertise? So therefore, I mean, then their practice can probably be as good as yours. Okay. Thank you. You see. I talked, I, I, we sp spoke earlier on the issue of knowledge and education. 
For instance, to every herb, every herb you want to use, you have the chemical content, you have the vitamin content, you have the mineral content. Then along with it, you have the protein, you have the carbohydrate, protein, and fats and oil, all embedded in it. In that plant. In that, in that plant. Or roots. And that is why the animals eat it. And they have all the things, yeah, every the other nutrients. thing, the nutrient. Now, when when it be, when I know them, then I know how to interplay mm. the herbs Those together values. to target that ailment. If you do it now, yeah, for, now, for now, me, for, for me, you have, have not answered me, my questions. Now. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Now, for me to to collect people who do not have the knowledge to my level. Mm. and the education mm. i might be creating problem do, do you do you see do you but see but, uh, but but doctor the the position here is that the problem already exists yes and the problem is the number one the ratio of medical health practitioners yes. to possible uh, number of patients in the country yes. will be one of the worst in the world if 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 i'm not mistaken therefore the problem therefore is that Nigerians don't have access. Many Nigerians don't have access to quality. Quality health practice. Health practice. Thank Either you. from orthodox medical uh, practitioner or, or traditional. So there will need practitioners like you to bridge that, that gap. Thank you. There was a time, three patients, I do not want to... You know, you cannot mention even mention their names name. anyway. Three patients came to me from... They go to a general hospital. One female and two male. They have hepatitis. After undergoing treatment in the hospital, yeah. and it failed. Hmm. You see, when, when, when the, if you meet a real physician and a practitioner, when any treatment fails from the hospital, and the hospital cannot go further, that is where we start. That is where traditional medicine starts. Starts. And not all not all traditional practitioners but those who are knowledgeable enough i think you get that we'll point we take up the challenge we take up the challenge therefore the the i cannot for instance i cannot just collect a group of people who do not have the knowledge who do not have the education background when i mention certain things they will not be able to to, to know it so how can i put them together and start teaching them that kind of the, 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 that kind of uh, is, is, it's a bit is, difficult for them to understand. Uh, apart, now, now, apart from that, the treatment is not is not just for the layman. Hmm. It takes some expert knowledge. Yes. Now, but do you, as uh, a practitioner, do you belong to the medical and health practitioners union? Of course, I belong to, and I belong to a society. I'm the I'm the general. Uh, I'm the. Uh, uh, Thank <laughs> you.